The stress vulnerability model isn't really that difficult of a concept for most students to understand, but it has its own learning outcome because it's so important in understanding what causes many of the things that we talk about in this course. Uh, now, depending on which psychological illness you're talking about, there is a lot of research out there on the potential causes. And there's some evidence that suggests uh, that specific chemicals during pregnancy can cause a disorder, or that experiences during childhood can cause a disorder. But it's very rare with psychological illness that you will find a specific cause of why someone has this condition. In fact, what's more often the case is that there will be different research experiments, different studies, that suggest information, but it doesn't always hold true. And that's why the stress vulnerability model has so much power. Um, even with a disorder like schizophrenia, there is not always an easy explanation. In fact, rarely is there an easy explanation. There's a lot of research that suggests that there is some inheritability with schizophrenia. If there's someone in your family who's been diagnosed with schizophrenia, that increases your chances of being diagnosed with the disorder. And the more closely related they are to you, the more likely you are to have that disorder. Uh, if you have an identical twin with schizophrenia, that greatly increases your chances of developing the illness or being diagnosed with the illness uh, to about 50%, which is huge when you consider that just the average rate of schizophrenia is one out of 100. So if you have an identical twin who shares your DNA and they have schizophrenia, you're 50 times more likely to be diagnosed with a disorder. So that's clear genetic evidence, but it's not a specific cause. If it were, if your identical twin had schizophrenia and it were only caused by genes, well then identical twins would always have schizophrenia if the other one did. We'd have a 100% rate, but we don't. We only have about 50. So what that suggests is the stress vulnerability model, which says that there may be, and there looks to be, a lot of genetic influence on several of these psychological illnesses. But something happens in someone's life, in their environment, whether it's their early childhood or whether it's some traumatic event as an adult that either triggers the disease or doesn't. And that's why we have some people who might have a gene who don't display the illness and some people do. So that's the idea behind the stress vulnerability model, that there's some biological sensitivity, but it has to be triggered by the environment to create a mental illness. It's a very popular model for understanding a lot of the causes of psychological illnesses today.